Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about comparison operators in PHP. PHP simply means stand for hypertext query processor, and it has several side scripts in language. So what is what is meant is that before you can run a PHP program, you will need a server. So if you're running it on your local PC, that to run PHP, you will need a local server. In this case, I'm using one. You can use ZAMP and others. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new tutorial. So we're going to run this code. We're going to compare two values. Before we do that, you need to create a variable to store these two values. So to create a variable in PHP, use the dollar sign then. I'm going to create two numbers. First number, which is going to be, I'll give it a value of 55. The second number is going to be what? number two and i'm going to give it a value of 60. okay so these are two values i'm going to compare and then in php we'll compare and then on these two values so basically comparison operators compare two values so basically comparison operators allows you to compare two or more values and they return either true or false so now that i have these two numbers i'm going to compare them and then i'll see whether i'm going to get a true value or a false value so i'm going to say if so this is going to make a decision so if so what i'm going to say that's going to be the first number so if number one which number one so i'm going to say if number one is equal equal to so we are doing comparison so you the double equal to and then so i'm going to say if this is equal to this then this code should print out something but if it's not then you should do something so print something in php use the echo statement okay so use the echo keyword so i'm going to say if these are the same, then you should print true. On the PHP, anytime you write a statement, and with what? A semicolon. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Once this is true, if this is not true, then do something else. I'm going to say else. So else, I'm going to use echo statement. So else, then I'm just going to echo or print out false. Okay, basically, that's what I want to do. So I'll end this statement as well. So when we run this code, we should be getting what? false because this 55 is not the same as what 60. so now run this you can see i'm getting false over here so basically this is the two numbers this is how we can get, we realize that we are getting false we can also do other strategies so if i can remove the one of the equal to and then bring exclamation sign which means that this is not equal to this in this case, we wouldn't get true because it's true that 55 is not the same as 60. The two are not the same. So when I run this code, I should be getting true this time around. Okay, we're going to get true, and then you can see the result. So we compare these two values, and it's going to print out that for us. We can also use greater than or less than. So we can also say is number one greater than number two. In this case, you can see number one is not greater than number two. So we're going to get what false. Okay, we're going to get false. So let's run this and. And see that you're going to print out what false. If you can also go and then use less than in this case, realize that number one is less than number two. So in this case, we're also going to get a result. It's going to print what it's going to print what true for us. Okay, so when we run this code, we should be getting what true as our what output. Perfect. We can also use less than or equal to so we can say number one is less than or equal to this and this we should also be getting true we should also be getting true for this and we can also do greater than or equal to we can also use greater than or equal to and this will also give us what false because there's no way number one is greater than what so you can see we are printing out false so basically this is what we can do with comparison of reasons as time goes on we're going to do very complex applications where we see how we need to do this. The reason why we need this in our program. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos that will be coming up. So we can go ahead and even use triple equal to, which means this simply means equivalent. Okay, it should be the same. And this will check the data type as well. So I can have 55 both for the two. If I run this code, I should be getting true. But I'll do some bit of change to this and you see that this is going to print out something else. So I'm getting true. 
But if I put this into quotes, even though it's still it's still 55, it's going to print out what? It's going to print out force. Okay, because this is a string and then oh, this is what an integer. So this is going to give me force. So you can see this is a string and this is what an integer. So it's giving me force. So this they are not the same. So double equal to the triple equal to we check the equivalent and check the data type as well. So basically, this is how to use comparison pretest in PHP. We'll be doing more of this. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss that. So basically, what you can see over here, I'm just using a comment. The comments are basically ignored by the program. They just add meaning to your code. So I'm just saying comparison with pretest, which explains what this code is going to do. You can do other things. Realize that PHP, we start with the PHP, this keyword, and then end with this. So everything that is going to fall within the program will assume or the compiler will assume that this is what php code everything within this and the closing tag will be php so thank you so much for watching this short tutorial remember to subscribe and then you don't miss out my php series it's going to begin a course on php and then from there we jump to javascript and then keep moving so in order not to miss all this subscribe so that you stay alert thank you so much bye bye